boy, am I glad to be working inside the van again. It has been hot today, and I think I just ripped my shorts. We are Shelby and Woody. We met in 2015 and immediately discovered our shared passion for travel and adventure. We've cruised the Bahamas, rode a train through Alaska, and even got engaged in Hawaii. After stumbling upon a van life video on YouTube, we loved the idea but considered it a pipe dream. Four by four sprinter van, and unfortunately it's sold. Well, as you can see, with a lot of hard work and perseverance, that pipe dream is becoming a reality. What came today? Please consider subscribing so you can follow along on our journey while we build out a van, travel the world, and encompass adventure. So these are the little torque washers with bolts in them that we showed you earlier. And this is what's going to attach that underside bracket to the roof rails. And so, like Woody was just saying, this is gonna be hard. The, the hard part is we have to get these bolts lined up in the holes, all four of them on each side, and then we have to put a nut on to anchor them down. Also, it's early July in Utah and it is hot. Tut. The van, it's hot. the metal on the van is hot, which is why Woody's sitting on a blanket and he took his shirt off, but it's hot up here. Did you get it? Missed one. Oh, uh, two. There. You missed two of them. Huh? There's two of them. Yep, you got them. Nice. Perfect. Good job, babe. Well, I've done a good job just yet. I've got to get all the nuts on these, which is going to be very. So you can see all of the bolts sticking up in here. We have to get all of the nuts on those now, which is going to be kind of difficult. Okay, I just saved the day. Solved the problem. So what we got did was got a pencil and just put a little mark on the roof rail where exactly these need to be and then we're gonna take this top part off that's connecting the solar panel, tighten the bolts down inside and then put the top part back on. Boom, right babe? Right, Say babe. it. That's right babe. Boom. Oh, oh maybe we don't even no. need to, ooh there's a beetle. Where? It's crawling in there, do you see it? Uh, Look, you see it in the corner? No, I don't see it. Oh, yeah, Did you guys see it? Do you want me to hold that? You can tighten the bolts down? I'm thinking out loud here. If you grab the other stuff of this and the other aluminum beams, I can prop it up like this so you don't have to hold it. Here you go, babe. I got you stuff. Thank you. Okay, if this video is a little bit kind of all over the place, it's because, well, this is our first time doing this. So these are the little, uh, what do you call these? Tilt brackets. tilt brackets. Because you want your solar panels to be tilted toward the sun so you can get more energy. Yeah. yeah. And so we put this tilt bracket on so we can tighten all of these bolts down along that hold the main frame down. And the way these work, is when they're, we don't want them tilted up, when we want them flat on top of the van, we just unscrew this, this folds down, and then this folds down on top of it, and then they're flat. Yep. 
And now Woody has a lot easier access to these bolts instead of trying to shove his hand underneath. Yeah, you saved, you really did save the day. Woohoo! I did it again. All right, Woody's working on bolting the last one down. As you can see, he had to do the last one from the ladder because there was no room left on the back of the van. But this is gonna be exciting. Let, you, let me tell you a little bit of our plan here. So you can see the first one's laying down right now. And then these two are up just because he needs to finish bolting them down. And the way we're gonna do it is because of our little bathroom fan that you can't see from down here is right against this. This first one has to tilt this way and these other two will tilt this way, which will actually be good because if we're ever parked somewhere for a long time and we need to tilt them, it won't really matter which direction the van is facing because we'll at least be able to charge one or two and we'll leave either this one flat and those two up or that one up and those two flat or however the sun is at the time of where we're at. But this is exciting, huh, babe? Yeah. Been working on this for a while. And then the cord is right there where Woody's hand is and it's gonna come down and it's gonna connect to those cords and the smart solar charge controller. So I had to make some extension cords I bought for the solar panel cables. I bought some kits for it. Um, you can see I had to kind of crimp that together. That end, I've already done the other end. And it's not so easy with this kit because it's not, I don't know, I don't think it's made for the same thickness of wire that I have. So I'm having to kind of trim this down a little bit so that it'll latch without causing a leak. And then put it together. Let's see if that works. I also bought this tool from Renogy that makes for a nice wrench. Probably didn't necessarily need it. You could do this without, but it has been a little bit easier to tighten these down. There we go. So you can see I have one male and one female end for the red extension. This basically is making it so that the solar panel or the factory cable from the solar panel is extended long enough to reach to where it enters into the vehicle. So because I'm running our solar panels in parallel, I had to get a three to one converter. And essentially each of the solar panels comes in here and then goes out here, which is where I hook into the van right there. Um, there is a certain sequence that you have to hook power up for solar panels, so I have not hooked them up yet but as soon as I read up on that, make sure I'm good to go, I will hook them in and then probably do some kind of strap or, I don't know, zip ties. That's my favorite thing. That's the word I couldn't find. And probably do some zip ties to get these wires all nice together and not banging around. Boy, am I glad to be working inside the van again. It has been hot today. And I think I just ripped my shorts. Babe, I think I just ripped my shorts. <laughs> yeah. Can you come look, please? <laughs> you definitely ripped your pants. <laughs> Why I can't have nice things. <laughs> Is that the second pair? No, it's the same pair twice. Oh, I just got a bigger hole. Yeah. Are you going to keep those? Yeah. Let me see one I more time. <laughs> Boop. Oh, babe. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to connect our Victron battery monitor to my smartphone. 
and it took me a minute to figure out the default pin. But I think that I've got this working now. Oh, there we go. Looking pretty good. Uh, change pin code. You guys can't see my pin. Hold please. Okay, now I did look up, it does say to connect the charge controller to the battery first. That is done with this little fuse right here. So we will connect that. Some lights came on. And then to connect the solar panels to the charge controller. And I did that. And not really sure if it's working. All right, so it's not working. And I did find one issue. Probably can't really tell. Yeah, you can't really see it, but the pin on the female extension cable that I made does not come out far enough, so it's not getting connected. So at least one panel is not working. Now, the back panel is working, but it's still not charging, and I'll have to look into that later, but I wanna at least make sure I'm getting an output out of each of the solar panels first. Hey, so I figured out, I think at least, what the issue was with the solar charger not working. For first setup, the MPPT controller uh, by Victron requires that the voltage input be the same voltage, voltage as your battery plus five volts. So the battery is currently running at 13.3, and because I'm running my panels in the parallel, the voltage does not combine, so it stays steady at 17.6 volts, even though I have three panels hooked up. To test this, I switched to running in a series. I just did two panels because it immediately put it up to about 35, 36 volts, and the charger immediately kicked on. I got about 150, ish watts of power, partially because it's 7.30 p.m. in the evening. Um, <clears throat> so as soon as the power or the charger kicked on, it made me think that it's possible my battery just needs to be drained a little bit before the parallel will work. So I'm currently running the fan. I'm gonna tr test this theory out and see if I can get that charger to kick on with parallel. And if it does, I will let you know. So I did test out, I was able to test to see if I just needed the battery to drain a little bit. Once it got below a certain voltage, the solar panels run in parallel did kick on the charger. So my theory was right, what I'd read about I guess was right. Um, I did switch them over to run in a series though. Running in a series really utilizes the benefits of this MPPT charge controller. Um, I'll probably leave it like that though I did leave enough cable and all of that if we ever needed to switch it over to parallel we could just rerun how they're wired up there and then kick it back on so and then what i was talking about earlier right now the solar is hooked up to the battery so i want to disconnect it and shut the system off i want to disconnect the power from the solar panels into the charge controller first and then disconnect the charge controller from the battery and then when you connect it, you do it in reverse. So I would feed power into the charge controller first and then from, sorry, from the battery first and then feed power from the charge controller or from the solar panels into the charge controller second. And then off. And that's a kill switch for the whole entire electrical system. Yep. Good job, babe. Thanks. We hope you enjoyed this two-part series where I think we did a pretty good job on the solar together. Yep. And if you did, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel because it really helps us grow. I almost said glow. <laughs> it helps us glow, it too. It does help us glow. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye. 
This video clip is for the solar panels. Video. Stop. Oh, that made me lightheaded.